Hey guys, what's going on? So right now we have a 2011 Ford Ranger in the shop. Uh, it has a 4.0 motor in it, and we're getting ready to toss a new catalytic converter in it. It's not a Cadillac converter. It's not going to turn your truck into a Caddy. It's a catalytic converter. So if you're shopping around for a new one on the internet, that's what it's called. Look that up. Before we get started, remember to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and subscribe to all of our notifications. That way they'll get a heads up when we upload a new video. All right, Steve, so uh, we, we are for a fall cold. How do we know that the uh, catalytic is bad in this thing? So we have a code PO430, catalytic system efficiency below threshold bank two. We've tuned the motor, um, we have no vacuum leaks, and we've also um, put a couple of O2 sensors in this thing. O2 sensors are a wearable item. This vehicle has 100,000 miles on it. It was the least expensive way out. So we got a couple of sensors on Rock Auto, some Bosch, and they were about 27 bucks a piece. So we went that route. We still have the code. Um, and we did a little investigating to find out that these converters are known for breaking up inside. So we ordered a new catalytic converter on uh, Rock Auto, which was like 155 bucks. Comes with a gasket. And um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, install that now. All right, so we're gonna get this truck up in the air and climb on under it and start tearing the catalytic converter out. Okay, so right now we'll put some penetrating oil on those bolts. Get those nice and wet. Yeah, and we'll tell you the size in a minute. Looks like 15s, so we'll find out. Now we got a, we have an O2 sensor here, and we have one up here, and we've put these in recently, so what we're gonna be able to do is crack them loose, and then just count our turns so that we can twist them back in place and the wires will be all twisted up. So we're not gonna have to unplug these. Um, and you know, when we crack these loose, you know, we put a seven eighths wrench on there with a cheetah bar and we got them to crack loose. And once they crack loose, they just unthreaded really nice, the factory ones. So we didn't have to heat them or anything. We just had to lean on them a little bit with a good seven eighths wrench. So it's a 15 millimeter. I got a six point socket. I'm gonna try and crack this loose by hand. Oh, the joy of it all. <laughs> I haven't been to the gym in two and a half months because this COVID thing, it opens up tonight, so I'm heading there after this. <laughs> I need to put some muscle behind those. Yeah, that one broke. That ain't what I wanted to happen. All right, let's try the other ones. We're gonna have to drill this thing out or heat it up to get it out from the back side here. So we can do that though. Plus the battery guys, not <laughs> The flashlight yeah, battery. Wow, winning streak tonight. Yeah, guys. how about that? We can wait for.
So you want to take your time taking these bolts off. All these bolts are right next to the engine blocks, so they get a lot of heat on them. Um, the best thing to do is use an oxyacetylene torch when you're heating these bolts up if you have to heat them up. We used the map gas because we ran out of oxyacetylene. But uh, we almost got the other one out. You want to take your time. You don't want to snap the studs, right? Yep. And we're going to heat this one up a little bit and take this one off here. Broke one, and we don't want to break another one. So we got three out of four. <laughs> so we're kind of happy with that, but we're going to end up having to drill one out. It's going to be a pain in the ass because, like I said, we don't have any settling today. So. Hey, three out of four ain't bad. Wasn't that a meatloaf song? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> Ain't no meatloaf here tonight, all right? <laughs> if they start singing meatloaf, they'll ban the video. <laughs> <laughs> So we're using the sawzall to take this off. What happened was when we were taking the bolt off of the stud, uh, heating it up, it ended up stripping the threads on the stud. Uh, if we had acetylene, an oxyacetylene set up, probably would have been less likely for that to have happened, uh, but we ran out of gas. So this is the point right now. These are gonna come right out. We're gonna crack them loose. This one here and this one up here. And we're just going to twist them back and then make sure the wires are not bound up when we go to put it back on. Okay. So we still have this other nut up on the top here we're going to take off. And I can then twist these. The wires are twisting up. We're just going to make sure that when we put it back in, the wires will untwist so i'm going to kind of wedge this in up here in the heat shield in the position i get the wires twisted and see them all twisted when i set it back in the new converter and i let it go the wires will unwind the right way now this one's a little hot up here we got to get this other nut off up here still so So now we're going to untwist this one. Okay, I'm going to try and find a spot to tuck this up here. All right, so now we got the flange off there. Lower this flange here. And we can move the converter. So this is what the whole assembly looks like when you take it out. Like I said, there's two bolts up here. There's two bolts at the other end. That's the O2 sensor goes. The other hole on here. That's yeah. it. It's not a very big piece. We got the new one here to match up. And we got some plugs to take out of this one. We'll remove them. And we're going to remove that stud in a minute. These are the dummy plugs that they just put in for the O2 sensors so the threads won't get damaged. She's out. We're going to never seize the studs on the front and run the nuts back up and down nice and easy. 
so that it goes together easy and we're going to extract that last stud and then reassemble. Okay, we're loading these up with never sees and then we're going to run the nuts up there and down so that when we put this together it's going to go together with a 3 8 ratchet nice and easy. Start nice and easy. Okay, that one's starting good. This one. one. Start that nice and easy. Now we're going to run them up and down with an extension. Make sure they go nice and smooth. Been three to five minutes doing this, so an hour and a half screwing, <laughs> fixing up the screw up. Been there before. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, the bolts broke in the, the other catalytic converter, so there's two studs sticking out. We heated them and they broke. We didn't have our uh, torches tonight. We had map gas, that was it, unfortunately. So this stud broke off. This one, the stud got stripped after heating the nut. So on the back side, they have these bosses welded on and you think they're just pressed into the pipe. And when we cut them flush in the front here, we couldn't press them out. So we ground them down and unfortunately had to drill these out. Now at this point, we had tempered the metal so drilling was excruciating to say the least. So we got it all drilled out and uh, we're gonna start reassembling now. So now our catalytic converter, we, we never seized the threads up here, ran the nuts up and down. So they're gonna be easy to put on. This is a ball flange side here. So there's no gasket, it's just a ball and flange and the pipes contoured towards it. We have a gasket on this side. So we're gonna slide the pipe up in place, catch the nuts, and then we'll put our gaskets and hardware in the back side here, and then we'll thread the O2 sensors in. Okay, so we matched up our converter with the other one. We know it's the right one. And we're gonna slide this up into place. So we have to set the pipe up on an angle like this to get it to go into place. Otherwise, it was hitting the cross member. It's a little tricky to get in. Once we get it up in place, we want to line up our flanges. Now the flanges are hitting the boss on the knock sensor, so it's not as easy as I was hoping to pop this thing in. Okay. Okay. These are 15 millimeter nuts. It's tight in here because of the transfer, uh, excuse me, the front differential. I got those on. What we wanna do is we're gonna get everything. We're gonna get the gasket in place over here and kind of get this thing all dry fitted in place. And then we're gonna suck the flange up on the top. All right, so we got our gaskets and our hardware. I'm gonna start setting this thing in place come through this way, put our gasket on. It doesn't really matter which way this gasket goes. Get the hole in it. It's got some elongated holes. I'm gonna catch one and start getting it in place. I got a washer and a nut. Probably gonna grab a lock washer for this in a second and get it started. Couple lock washes. Okay. All 
right, so we got it basically, the pipe is snug in place. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna tighten up the, the ball flame side and get this to fit comfortably. And we wanna make sure we tighten these up evenly. And we, we ran these up with the impact gun and never seize the helm. Put the up there. Man, these new catalytic converters, we're gonna have to put a washers on these. These nuts, the factory nuts, really almost don't look big enough to cover the holes. They'd probably be all right, but I think we're gonna put some uh, washers on. Yeah, there's a, it's a pretty elongated slot and I'm not comfortable just putting the nut on there. Swivel in a shallow 15. Let's see if I can run it up as much as I can with this. See if it makes it a little easier. Make sure I get these tightened up evenly. Looking at the distance of the stud sticking out so I can keep try and keep the same distance so I know I've tightened this evenly. So this flange is tight right now. I'm just gonna tighten it up with the deep 15 millimeter. We put some washers on there, like I said, to take up for the flange. And if Tony can look at the light, we have the same distance that we have on the studs coming out. And that's important to make sure that you have an even seat on your ball flange so you don't have an exhaust leak. to get in here. Alright. Not the gorilla run, but just make sure that they're tight. Firm. Now, 
We have to make sure we have clearance here on the cross member so we're not getting a rattle. So we're gonna try and pry up on this a little bit and we may have to loosen this up to see if we can get it to not have any uh, rattle. Okay, I still had some wiggle room with the ball flange here. Now I have good clearance here. I have clearance everywhere, my drive shaft. I want to make sure you don't have any rattles. Now this is an aftermarket catalytic converter. It may not fit exactly perfect, so it's kind of up to you, the consumer, to try and help it make it fit. Now we compared it to the other one and it was pretty damn close. So, but we have good clearance now, just like we had with the Ford, the, the OEM one. Um, so we are tight up top. We're gonna tighten these up and we're gonna thread our knock sensors in. Now we got our replacement hardware in here and we went with 9 16 which is a 3 8 It was um, 10 millimeter studs and we were, we're all done drilling tonight. So, you know, didn't have the torches, which is our fault and just kind of kill us. So. nice and secure we're gonna thread our knock sensors back in now we talked about our knock sensors being twisted up we tucked it up in the panel so it's twisted counterclockwise now we're gonna set it into the hole and we want to thread this back in here nice and easy and as we're doing it we're straightening out our harness Put our wrench in here and tighten this up. Move the camera, move your phone. Okay, that one's in a tight. We get the harness comfortable. There it is. It's not all twisted up. Heat shield's on it. We never have to unplug the top of it, fortunately. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this one. We've got tucked up in up here. Got seven eighths flange on here. Tighten these up. Okay, it's all snugged up. My house looks good. Okay. All right, we cleared our code before. We're just gonna fire this up, and make sure we have no exhaust leaks. Okay, so we have no exhaust leaks around here at all. And we've got no leaks. Up around here. Okay. That should do it. We've got good clearance on everything, so we'll have no rattles and that's the end. <laughs>